Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you want to cover important chapters of Clayton, Organic Chemistry Clayton book, then you can follow my this series on all the important chapter of Clayton. Okay, in this series, I will discuss important points from different chapters and you can complete your Clayton book within a month, right? We will also take questions from chapters end. The first chapter that I want to discuss is nucleophilic addition to carbonyl groups. It is chapter number six. So if we want to do addition reaction to carbonyl groups, there are two steps. First step is attack of nucleophile. Second is protonation of anion, which is generated after the attack of nucleophile. Then first we have to understand what is the bonding in carbonyl groups. So suppose this is a carbonyl group, right? And this is sigma orbital. This is sigma bonding molecular orbital which is formed between carbon and oxygen. This is pi which is formed by parallel overlapping of p orbitals. Right? These are sp2 hybridized orbitals of oxygen carrying lone pair of electrons. And this is sp2 hybridized orbitals of carbon carrying forming bond with sigma bond with hydrogens. Okay. So there is the we have here we have a pi of pi bond between carbon and oxygen so this pi bond is formed and this results in formation of two pi bonding molecular or pi orbitals pi bonding molecular orbital and pi anti bonding molecular orbital right and we know that electronegativity of oxygen is higher than carbon so electrons will be pulled towards oxygen it will remain close to oxygen and electrons are present in pi bonding molecular orbitals when a bond is formed means the pi bond pi orbitals are close to bonding pi bond pi orbitals are close to oxygen this is very important and if you know what is molecular orbital theory then you can easily understand it and pi star orbitals that is for pi anti bonding orbitals are close to carbon which is less electronegative right so why I am telling you this because this pi orbitals is already taking part in formation of this pi bond but this pi star molecular orbital is empty. So when a nucleophile attacks it attacks on pi star orbitals okay and these pi star orbitals will act as LVMO right LVMO of electrophile and what is our electrophile here electrophile is this carbonyl group because because it is electron deficient and nucleophile is providing electrons therefore its homo will participate in reaction so homo containing electrons right so lvmo of carbonyl group is pi star orbitals so first it will attack on this pi star then in next step pi bond will break and there is new sigma bond will form between nucleophile and carbon this is a sigma bond and this is anion generated which will be protonated means our second step will participate further it will be protonated and you will get your final product so this is a basic knowledge about bonding during the addition reaction then we will take reaction with cn minus it is very general reaction leads to formation of cyanohydrin so i will tell you about only the important steps of this reaction very important point is this reaction is reversible right so suppose we have a carbonyl here and first cn minus will attack on it so i'm directly telling you here that cyanohydrin will form like this okay you will get this one and it is on further reaction with oh if the reaction medium has oh then it further react with it to give you back carbonyl compound right so you will get your carbonyl back but what is happening in this reaction? In this reaction, if you can see this, this carbon is sp2 hybridized in the starting. And after formation of cyanohydrin, it will become sp3 hybridized. So initially, the bond angle between these two is 120 degree. And now this bond is 109 degree. Right. So there is decrease in the bond angle. And if you are using bulkier R groups in this position means if your carbonyl is bulkier in size, then this reaction will be more hindered. 
means if you are using suppose uh, here I have used aldehyde but if you are using R a ketone then after formation of cyanohydrin these two R will become close to each other like this. So the rate of reaction is slower with ketones as compared to aldehyde right so this is the basic reason why the reaction with ketones is less feasible as compared to aldehyde okay you know that the reaction rate is slow but the reason is this the change in bond angle then very important thing is bergi dunitz angle bergi dunitz angle means nucleophile never attacks from the perpendicular side or from the lower side it attacks at a particular axis and at particular angle okay and this particular angle is known as bergi dunitz angle this angle is determined using some crystallographic studies and why it is attacking at a particular angle this angle is 107 degree so why it is attacking at 107 degree although the overlapping is highest at 90 degree if nucleophile approaches at 90 degree then overlapping between homo of nucleophile and lvmo of electrophile will be maximum but due to the repulsion between filled pi orbitals and nucleophile this attacks at an angle of 107 degree and this angle is known as bergi dunitz angle okay next we will take another important topic that is addition of water we know that how to do addition of water and this reaction is highly reversible in nature because it is not this carbon will be, will not be stable carrying 2 OH group but two factors affect this reaction first is steric hindrance second is electronic effect steric hindrance factor I have already told you that addition of a nucleophile on an electrophile like carbonyl causes change in its bond angle initially this angle was 120 degree now it will become 109 degree so there is decrease in bond angle and if we have bulkier R group then this reaction will become less feasible so we know that what is steric effect then what is electronic effect electronic effect means you have to include all the I and R and M effects so if a group attached on this carbon can withdraw electrons from it means this carbon will become more electrophilic in nature if it will become more electrophilic in nature then it will show faster rate of nucleophilic addition reactions right so what will be the different value of k for different molecules k is the rate constant for this reaction so first we will take acetone and acetaldehyde for acetone this rate, rate cons, this constant k is 0 0.001 while for acetaldehyde it is 1.06 so the reaction is faster for acetaldehyde we know the reason this is due to steric hindrance in, in this case we have two CH3 groups which will cause hindrance at this stage therefore reaction will be faster for acetaldehyde and this reaction will become more faster if we are using formaldehyde it will become 2 to 8 0 right and if we are using this molecule containing 3 Cl attached with this carbon this rate will become 2000 this constant K will become 2000 because these 3 Cl can withdraw electrons from this carbon and decrease electron density on this carbon making it more electrophilic and it can show easily nucleophilic addition reaction so you can compare the rate constant k value for trichloroacetaldehyde and in this acetaldehyde molecule it is much much greater then if we are using hexafluoroacetone then in that case the k value is 1.2 to 10 to the power 6 right let's take a very interesting example that is cyclopropanone if you are using cyclopropanone then reaction rate the rate of hydration is very fast why it is fast because in case of cyclopropanone this angle is is in in the starting it is 60 degree right but it wants to become 120 because of this sp2 this is sp2 hybridized carbon and it want to be 120 degree in nature so this molecule is highly strained in nature and if you want to calculate the 
strain then we can subtract 160 from 120 we will get 60 degree so this much is a strain in this molecule but if we are doing its hydration then it will become like this after hydration it will become like this and this angle is, is still 60 but now this carbon is sp3 hybridized means its bond angle is 109 degree right so difference in the this these angle is 109 minus 60 degree is 49 degree now there is less strain on this carbon as compared to this one that is why the rate of reaction rate of hydration is faster for cyclopropanone it is it is same for cyclobutanone and other cyclic ketones right so you now you can solve a question from this chapter which is given and the question uh, book so let's take some more reactions next is addition of alcohol so we know that if we are adding one molecule of alcohol we will get hemiacetals right so we will take what is the mechanism and then we will compare acidic and basic catalyzed and we want to know that what are the factors which controls acidic and basic catalyzed reactions so first step is this ethanol containing oxygen having lone pair of electron will attack on this carbon this bond will shift here right now this oxygen has positive charge okay in next step one more molecule of ethanol will participate in this reaction it will provide h to this proton this oxygen and this proton will be removed so we have hemiacetal here right this reaction can be intramolecular in intramolecular in nature also so we can write down this molecule like this also okay now this oh can participate in this reaction so it will attack on this carbon this bond will shift like this and finally you will get a five membered ring so always remember in intramolecular hemiacetal formation five or six member ring formation is favored right then we will take acid catalyzed reaction of hemiacetal formation and ketones will be less reactive as compared to aldehydes in this reaction the reason is similar to which we have discussed earlier so in case of acid catalyzed what will happen first h plus will attack on this carbonyl group oxygen and it will form oxonium ion now due to this protonation this carbon will become more electrophilic in nature because this oxygen has positive charge so it it makes it more electrophilic in nature so this is the basic difference between base catalyzed and acid catalyzed in acid catalyzed reaction electrophile will become more electrophilic in nature now etoh can attack on it and you will get hemiacetal right and in case of base catalyzed reaction first step is that base first removes h plus from this ethanol and it will be converted into eo minus it, it will become ethoxide and it is more electro more nucleophilic as compared to ethanol so it is making nucleophile more nucleophilic in nature right now it can directly participate in reaction and give you hemiacetal the product is same only the mechanism is different next we will take addition of bisulfite so in case of bisulfite we are using sodium bisulfites so what are the important properties or important things about this reaction it is it leads to formation of crystalline crystalline salts this reaction is reversible like other reactions and it is generally used as intermediate in reaction so if we if it is given that first they are using sodium bisulfite and then nacn so in this reaction first step is the formation of bisulfite first bisulfite sulfite will be formed and then nacn will add and bisulfite will be removed and cyanohydrin will form right so bisulfites are acting as a intermediate in reactions then we will take another reaction in this case in first step there is formation of cyanohydrin and then they are using hcl and h2o so this acidic hydrolysis will convert this cn in coh group 
right so this will be the product then in next example first they are using sodium bisulfite and then NaCl H2O means in first step sodium bisulfite will be formed like this right then CN minus will attack on this and it will form cyanohydrin then we are using lithium aluminium hydride so this CN group will be converted into amines right then we will take questions from this chapter so i am taking here only important questions similar simple ones you can do by your own and if you have any problem you can ask me in comment section so first we are taking question number two that is cyclopropane exists as hydrate in water but two hydroxy ethanol does not exist as hemiacetal explain because we have already discussed that in this case the bond angle is, is 60 degree and this carbon is sp2 hybridized carbon and it wants to become 120 so there is a strain of 60 degree but in this case this carbon is sp3 hybridized carbon means 109 degree it wants to become 109 degree but the angle is 60 degree so a strain is 49 degree so there is decrease in a strain in this reaction so this, so this reaction is feasible but in this case there is no strain in the starting this molecule is is a acyclic molecule but if you are forming it up converting it into into a three membered ring then it will become strained in nature that is why this reaction is not possible then we are taking another question that is question number five the triketone shown here is called ninhydrin its name is ninhydrin and it is used for detection of amino acids it exists in aqueous solution as hydrate which ketone is hydrated and why about this reaction we have three ketonic groups and we want to know which ketonic group will be hydrated so we know that hydration process is a highly reversible process this reaction is not the product is not stable in nature and these two ketonic groups are stable as compared to this one because these two carbons are in conjugation with this benzene ring right there is conjugation we have a double bond here then single bond then double bond so these two are stable in nature as compared to this one therefore it will be hydrated then question number six this hydroxy ketone shows no peaks in infrared spectrum between 1600 and 1800 but it shows a broad absorption at 300 to 3400 centimeter inverse in carbon 13 nmr there is no peak above 150 ppm but there is a peak at 110 ppm suggest an explanation so a peak at in between 1600 to 1800 means there should be a ketonic group but we have seen that this molecule uh, should contain a peak at here at this position but it is showing a broad peak at this position this peak is due to oh group right so what will happen this oh group will attack on this carbon it will show hemiacetal formation so it will lead to the formation of one two three four and five member ring like this right suppose this is one two at three position we have two methyl groups four and at five position we have a methyl group and oh this bond will shift here and it will generate a O negative then O negative will take a proton to form OH right so we have this one as final product and this peak between 3000 to 3400 centimeter inverse is due to this OH group right due to this so the, this will be our product this this molecule will undergo formation of hemiacetal this is there is a intramolecular hemiacetal generation that is why it is not showing a peak at this position 1600 to 1800 right so this is all about this chapter i hope this chapter is helpful to you next time i will come up with second chapter i will take next chapter chapter number eight in my next video so keep watching and like my videos and share it with your friends and if you subscribe to my channel you can complete your Clayton book in one month right so thank you so much for watching bye bye